So today I'm going to show you about my apartment. So this is the balcony area just here and um, this should be the place where I would usually do my washing and hang up my clothes um, it's got quite a nice view I'm up on the seventh floor so I'm quite high up so I get a good view of the area that I live in and then um, basically my apartment's like a studio flat so it's all kind of open planned um, the bed's just down there um, and I've got a TV, but I don't really use it that much um, because I mostly just use my computer and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> the washing machine is pretty interesting. Out in the, in, out here, as you can see, it's a Chinese washing machine, and you load the washing from the top instead of in the west where you would load it from the side or the front of the washing machine, you load it from the top. Um, washing up liquid's pretty cheap out here. Um, you don't really get tumble dryers, so you have to hang up your clothes to dry. Um, that's because Chinese people believe that um, it burns out all the germs. They believe if, they hang, if you hang your clothes out, it burns out all the germs in them and makes it cleaner. Um, but obviously you can argue that the pollution outside isn't very good and could get into your clothes, but, you know, they might have to question what they believe in. Um, I've got a little cupboard area here where I use mostly to store books and stuff like that. It's just behind me. Um, this is the sofa. It's not very good, it's made out of wood, it's quite uncomfortable to sit on, need to get some pillows for it. Um, the kitchen area is not so good. Um, it isn't very easy to cook in here and also you've kind of got to go and buy your own cooking utensils. Um, so you don't really have a stove or anything to cook on so that can make things quite a bit more complicated. You get these portable stoves and um, basically they're terrible, they always burn, burn food um, not the most useful thing in the world um, I have a little fridge just down here and um, the shower area is pretty interesting um, the walls are made out of glass um, which is not so good if you need to go to the toilet and you've got some company um, because they can hear everything um, got a western toilet. Most Chinese apartments they have a Chinese toilet which is basically like a hole in the ground and um, usually you have to fork out a bit more money for a western style apartment. Um, the shower is quite good. Just here. Um, it's got lots of different taps that you can use um, so one tap, so one tap's like, hold on. So this would be the bottom tap, just here. And if I change this nozzle, I get, I get to use this shower just here. And then I've got, at the top, like a proper shower. Um, so that's all quite good. So what kind of problems might you get in your Chinese apartment? What things do you need to look out for when you're looking for an apartment? These are areas I'm going to cover now. The first thing I would say when you're looking for an apartment and you're new to China is make sure you've got a good agent. Your prospective employer should provide you with a good agent. Um, so I would kind of follow what your school says. Um, go about, and I wouldn't necessarily look for apartments necessarily ones on the basis that you would like to live there um, maybe because your ideas of what is a nice apartment um, 
might actually not be kind of suitable for China. Um, for example, I've got this apartment here and this is like a pretty big apartment, but I'd say it's quite difficult because you've always got to clean it and tidy it and it's always just turns into a mess. Um, and also I'd look for an apartment on the basis of ventilation. I'd always make sure that an apartment, especially down here in the south of China, I'd always make sure that you would be looking for an apartment that was well ventilated because obviously with like such hot and humid climates and as well if, you, if, if you're using the shower or if you're cooking things, it can get really damp really easily and can leave mould and residue all over the walls and that can be a pain to clean. So I'd always make sure that you would make sure you keep an eye out on how it's ventilated and make sure it's got good ventilation. Um, probably in the south of China, you'd best off trying to look for an apartment that is facing away from the sun rather than facing the sun because obviously it would be cheaper to keep it cool then. Um, that's something that's quite nice about this apartment. Um, <clears throat> if you were to look for an apartment, different areas and different cities kind of have different rates. So I would say it's cheaper than in the West generally. Um, I pay 3,600 kwai um, for this apartment a month. That's excluding bills. Bills are quite cheap. That's probably going to be an extra 500 kwai to 600 kwai a month. Um, so it's quite good. This apartment as well. Another thing you have to be aware of in southern China is insects and cockroaches. Um, they're everywhere, so you kind of got to accept that. And then, um, if you wanted to have some free advice on something that's good at killing them, I recommend this cockroach bug spray just here. Um, you can get it on the internet in China, um, or any kind of big supermarket will sell it and they should get rid of them. Um, also, especially be aware that if you keep things stored away in dark places, they could go mouldy or damp really fast. Um, for example, clothing. I know that people have problems um, with clothing and it's important to keep clothes dry out here. So you need to kind of regularly wash them, regularly leave them out and then they'll be okay. Um, it's also quite difficult to kind of keep these apartments clean because you're constantly walking in from the streets and the streets aren't terribly clean so it's quite easy to get muck and dust into the flat um, but other than that I would say yeah apartments out in China are pretty good to rent they're quite cheap quite affordable um, some different parts of a city if you were living further out from the city centre, you're going to find that it's more cheap and affordable. And the closer you get to the city centre, the more expensive it's going to be and the less you're going to get for your money. You might get a smaller apartment and you have to pay more money than what you would do out on the outskirts to suburban areas of the city. Um, so I'd bear in mind those things. Um, but all in all, it's definitely a lot cheaper than the West. and. It's very good and a lot of them are owned also by apartment chains, like big. So, so somebody will own the whole apartment building and you'll be renting one apartment. Um, they're probably the best ones to kind of look for. I wouldn't try and look for a private landlord. Um, I just wouldn't trust them. Because what they have the tendency to do as well is they will buy a property a few... If, um, rent it for a few years um, and wait for like the price of the property to go up and then they'll sell it again so you'll get like a surprise phone call from your private landlord saying you're moving out in a month somebody else is buying the apartment so that's something to be aware of so I'd always try and look to get into like a large um, a large apartment building where the apartment building rents each room and the walls are paper thin, so you're going to hear everything that the next door does. So that's also something to be aware of and just something you've got to accept in China. And also, beds. 
In China, they like to sleep on really hard beds, so if you have a problem with that, you need to go to a Walmart and have a look for what kind of padding you can get for your bed to make it more comfortable. Um, and that's about it. If you could please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Ireneganpao Chinsun